client is Omer Science Technology. The target is BFF Corporation's main arms board, Spirit of Motherwill. Armored Core Law, the Spirit of Motherwill. The answer to combat next. To have controllable military power in a world where might is everything. The Spirit of Motherwill's birth came from these needs and the minds of the Bernard and Felix Foundation. There is no official date of production of this war machine, but what we do know thanks to the book Armored Core A New Order for Next is that by the time of the economic war this arms fort is considered outdated by newer models of arms forts. With this in mind it's possible then that this fort was already in production by the end of the National Dismantlement War, with corporations seeing what Nexts and Links could do and their faults, like they were not loyal, they could not be trusted. As such it was in the best interest of corporations to begin production as soon as possible, to move away from the need for Nexts. Again there is no date of Motherwell's first launch, however what we do know, again thanks to the book Armored Core A New Order for Next, is that the spirit of Motherwell had been operating for some time. Shown by the retelling of the battle between White Glint and the Arms Fort, this battle seemed to have been a field test to find out about the Arms Fort and test the new Vanguard Overbooster that would one day lead to the Mighty Machine's destruction. This battle can also be seen during the opening of the game Armored Core for Answer, where it seems White Glint would be put on the ropes by the Motherwell Arms Fort. Yet Armored Core A New Order for Next would go into more detail about this battle, stating that, in the end, neither Motherwell nor White Glint would score a decisive blow, but the latter withdraws due to ammunition issues. Though Motherwell is victorious, the battle reveals a glaring weakness in it. Destroying the main cannons would likely cause catastrophic internal damage. By the time of Stray's arrival as a mercenary, the secrets of Motherwell are well known as Omar is quite happy to send a rookie Lynx out to deal with the arms fort with their vanguard overbooster to do so. But what exactly is this arms fort known as the spirit of Motherwell? Motherwell is best described as a walking fortress, sharing the design aspects of an aircraft carrier, but able to move on the ground with six large legs with pad-like feet to spread out the weight of the arms fort, making the craft walk sideways and never forwards, much like a crab. The arms fort is not small either, with a total length of 2,400 meters or 7,874 feet and a height of 600 meters or 1,968 feet, to call Motherwell a walking city would not be far from the truth. All this is surrounded by a heavy armor that makes this arms fort indestructible from the outside, a common feature for many arms forts. Along with this, the spirit Motherwell is also armed with a multitude of homing missile launchers on each of its wings, numbering between four or five on each. Machine guns are focused mainly around the center of the war machine where missiles will not reach. A number of cannons are located under the belly of Motherwell, on and under each wing. Six long range cannons located at the top of the machine that can revolve 360 degrees to shoot any way. And finally, a large number of normals like the 044 AC and the GA-03 Solar Wind, who will take up positions on the wings and even between the cannons, attacking their targets with bazookas and sniper rifles after coming from one of the two launch bays, which are shown on screen now. However, as discovered by White Glint, the spirit of Mother Will's design is fundamentally flawed. By destroying the main gun batteries, missile silos, and defense guns, this causes uncontrollable internal fires within Mother Will. These fires cause the main reactor cooling system to fail and ignite the main gun battery ammunition storage, causing the arms fort to explode like a city full of gunpowder. Still, no one should forget that inside Motherwell were thousands of soldiers that the corporations called expendable, and that day it exploded, the lives of many were lost. Still, we have to ask what living inside this arms fort would have been like. From examining the craft, its size and functions, it would be fair to say that living on Motherwell may have been very much like living at sea. Which, if we take the multiplayer map of Spirit of Mother Will into account, then this arms fort did in fact cross the sea to come to Old Peace City. As such, we can guess with the use of the helipads, the crew will have been brought their rations and supplies by helicopters. It's also fair to assume that on Mother Will there have been a command structure, a medical area, a kitchen, or a canteen. Quarters for the crew, everything you would expect in a military craft. But the inside and outside explored, the fact remains that Mother Will's missions report never came to light. In fact, for all we know, this arms fort simply went around the areas under the rule of BFF, acting as a deterrent, until it met its day at the hands of Strayed in Old Peace City. Yet this may not be the last of Motherwell, as during the events of Armored Core Verdict Day, the Foundation reported partially rebuilt a wreckage of a Spirit Class arms fort, this possibly being Motherwell. Although its large caliber cannons are missing, 
Its VLS cells are fully stocked with missiles, and it possesses numerous short-range plasma cannons. In the end, this arms fort will be remembered by many. It is the one that fought off White Lint. It is the one that many links seemed shocked when it fell, and finally it is the arms fort that made Strayed an elite mercenary. Here ends the report on the arms fort, known as the Spirit of Motherwill. <laughs>